The U.S. Supreme Court has extended its deadline for deciding the fate of abortion pill mifepristone until Friday, creating a tense wait for women's reproductive rights. If the court revokes the FDA's approval of mifepristone, it would mark the most significant ruling on reproductive rights since the landmark case of Roe v. Wade in 1973. Despite more than 100 studies spanning several decades showing the pill's safety and effectiveness, a Texas judge recently ruled to outlaw mifepristone throughout the U.S. The appeal court has since blocked this ban but reinstated restrictions on the drug not seen since 2016. In a recent hack, right-wing commentator Matt Walsh fell victim to a hacker who goes by the alias Doomed. While Walsh's Google and Microsoft accounts were breached, it was the tweets that gained attention, including calling out fellow conservatives, labeling Joe Rogan a pedophile, and insinuating Daily Wire host Ben Shaprio is hiding behind being Jewish. This was all done in an attempt to stir up controversy and sow chaos on Twitter, according to Doomed. While some found Walsh's opinions problematic, the act of hacking is not justifiable. In this humorous and slightly insightful article, a DVD copy of the 1997 movie, The Postman, reminisces about its life and experiences, including being called dog shit and being watched repeatedly by a family in Montana. The article laments the end of Netflix's DVD by mail subscription service, which the DVD argues was a key part of American culture in the early 2000s and encourages the company not to forget its origins and loyal customers. The DVD proudly bears the scars of its conquests and reminds us of the power of entertainment to connect people. After three years with the pandemic, life has returned to some sense of normalcy, as vaccines and treatments have made COVID-19 a more manageable threat. However, the same cannot be said for the millions who are suffering from long COVID, a mysterious ailment that lingers long after the initial infection. Experts are slowly coming to a consensus that long COVID is not a single disorder, but rather a collection of diseases that share similar symptoms. This variety of causes makes clinical trials tricky, but researchers are working tirelessly to try to alleviate the suffering of those with long COVID. Despite the challenges, researchers and medical professionals remain committed to helping those in need. Link and bio company, Linktree, gained a staggering $110 million of investment, placing them in a coveted position last year. However, Meta CEO Mark Zuckerberg recently announced that Instagram users could now add up to five links to their bio on the app, a feature that many creators have eagerly welcomed. Social media analysts suggest that the move was predictable, and it may be that Linktree and other such link and bio companies are no longer necessary. Despite this, some creators have decided to stick with Linktree as it allows them to customize the page where the audience arrives, which may be more helpful to businesses using social media than Instagram's new link feature. Captain David Cheap faces the difficult reality that he and his crew are stranded on an island with no way off. As winter approaches and resources dwindle, Cheap understands the importance of unity for survival, even before modern scientific studies proved his intuition. Cheap shows a combination of leadership and domineering behavior as he implements rules and organizes an excavation team to scavenge a wreck for supplies. The situation is dire, and the men are suffering from physical and psychological effects of starvation, which can thin even the thickest veneers of morality and social bonds. A 12-year-old is worried about missing out on kid things because they spend most of their time on screens due to school and home life. They fear they will regret not doing more when they grow up. However, projecting oneself into the future is a treacherous gambit, and our assumptions about how life will be are unavoidably limited because technology is developing at a fast pace. Therefore, instead of focusing on what we think our future selves may want or need, we should live in the present by doing what we love and finding our eternity in each moment, as said by Henry David Thoreau. Sebastien Bubeck, a Microsoft researcher, became fascinated with artificial intelligence and unicorns after working on GPT-4 a text generation algorithm from OpenAI. Bubeck and his team were amazed at how different GPT-4 was from other AI programs they had seen. One night, Bubeck asked GPT-4 to draw a unicorn using a scientific diagram software. The model produced a crude yet distinct image of a unicorn, sparking Bubeck's belief that it was an example of true intelligence. However, researchers are still trying to understand the extent of AI's new abilities and the potential risks they may pose. While GPT-4 has shown sparks of artificial general intelligence, there are still significant differences between AI and human intelligence. In a patch of land along the Gulf of Guinea coast, known as the Leki Free Zone, Nigeria's laws seem to no longer apply. The area was designated to entice international businesses, and now a new project is emerging there. 
Atana, a virtual startup city that aims to become Africa's Silicon Valley. However, proponents of private city projects and special economic zones argue they create havens for the wealthy and risk exacerbating economic inequality. Despite this, Itana's founders, including successful tech entrepreneur Ian Alua Aboyaji, are optimistic about Nigeria's unfulfilled potential and aim to nurture a new generation of tech unicorns in the country. Looking to bring some chatter into your home? Look no further than Amazon's family of Alexa-enabled devices. From the Echo Show 10 to the Spherical Echo, there's an option for everyone's budget. And for the bargain hunters out there, keep your eyes peeled for Amazon's major sale events to score some steep discounts. Trust and Wired for all your smart device needs, with roundups including the best smart displays and Bluetooth speakers, plus how to guides on Alexa routines and skills, which, let's be honest, are more useful than learning any traditional life skills. Updated for April 2023, the latest Echo Dot variations and Sono speakers have been added. And for gear readers, snag a one-year subscription to Wired for just $5 and help fund the everyday work we do.